we're back with another cute kids hairstyle today so I'm just going to start off by parting the hair just behind the ears and the rest of the hair you're just going to pop into a ponytail out of the way come back to the top and I'm just dividing that hair into two so just on both sides equally and this is going to be the hair for our first braid I've chosen to do a really small French lace braid today where I break the hair into three and just like a regular French braid, you're crossing over that middle section, but I'm not gonna add in on the one side. So at the front, as you can see, I'm adding in the hair like a regular French braid. But when I come to the other side, I don't add any hair. I just cross over like a normal braid. And you're gonna do this all the way along, just taking really, really small sections, adding in from that right-hand side, not from the left-hand side, and I do that until I've run out of hair. And then you're just gonna do a tight little three strand braid. After you've done about four stitches, start teasing out the right hand side of that braid. So you can see that I do this all the way down, just using my fingernails, teasing out that hair all the way down. And then I'm just gonna pop the rest of that hair into a little elastic once I'm happy that I've pulled out enough using a bit of wax spray now and starting another braid. So I'm starting on the other side on this braid. Again, it's a lace braid, so I'm only taking from those front pieces. So I'm not taking hair from the back there, as you can see, working my way all the way over again, as though a headband sitting on the head, following that line of hair. And again, you're gonna bring this all the way to the other side, to the other ear. Nice little tight braid. You're not gonna pull this one out, just a normal braid. Then you're going to take a small piece of hair from the nape of the neck and just attach that braid to it. So just a little elastic there, tie that in. Then come to the other braid and you're going to just start to twist this up. So think of like a flower. So I'm just kind of twisting it up, rolling it up, taking my time, making sure that little tail isn't poking out at the bottom. And then decide where you want that little flower to sit. I'm just using a tiny, 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 like a, it's like a four centimetre hairpin and just pushing that through the center. Looks really, really cute, a little spray. Now this bit's optional. I like a little bit of volume to the back of the hair just to make it look a bit thicker. You don't have to do this bit, but I'm just taking small layers of hair, a little bit of spray, pushing down with my comb. I do this kind of like just, just round the crown area and to the sides, brush that back over, use my comb now. So make sure you can't see any of that back comb. So just take your time and really lightly brush that out. But I think you'll see in a minute that it's just created some really nice volume to the hair. Um, and this is Caitlin doing a little 360. She really liked this one. And um, so yeah, that's the style finish. Let me know in the comments what you guys think.